Self-awareness is a superpower. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. This video is about your rising sign. So you're going to need to know exactly what time you were born in order to get this placement. I'm going to put a link in the description box for a natal chart calculator. This link will take you to a site that will take in all your information and then give you a chart of your rising sign and some other information. So yeah, you're going to need to know your birthday and the location and exact time of birth in order to get this calculation. And our rising sign is super, it's a super important placement. It, ha it also has an influence over our personality, just like our sun sign and our moon sign. Except our rising sign is how people see us when they first see us. I like to consider the rising sign as our representative, how we like to represent ourselves. And I feel like if we look back to childhood, and the way we perceive our household, that has a strong influence on how our rising sign develops. And I say that, but at the same time, I, after studying astrology and numerology for some time, I truly believe that we do choose our parents and our circumstances in order to gain the experiences that we need because you can look at a child's natal chart and kind of see the different influences that's going to be a part of their life, a part of their, their, their life experience into molding them to be who they aspire to be in this life. So I feel like based on our rising signs and other placements like that, it's like we have the perfect parents whether we might consider them to be horrible or whatever, we have the perfect parents. We have the perfect parents who will influence and mold us into the characters that we are. So yeah, our rising sign, like I feel like our childhood plays a big part in helping us to stand into that role, stand into that mold. So when you think of a person's rising sign, think of the outside of a house or a building. So it's like, imagine on a street, there's this beautiful house, and, but on the inside of the house, it looks like a house on the outside, but on the inside, maybe it's a doctor's office, or maybe it's a, it's like a reform house for people who came out of prison, but it looks like there's cookies being baked in there and just like a whole warm, loving family vibe in there. But on the inside, which that could be our moon will be seen on the inside, but on the outside is pretty much our rising. And I find that a lot of the times when we meet other people who share the same zodiac sign as us and we feel like, whoa, me and this person have nothing in common. Our rising sign plays a big part in that because even though you might share the same sun sign, your representatives are different. You like to represent yourselves differently. And our rising sign shows people like it gives a, basically it, it's our way of presenting ourselves, but it goes deeper than that. It goes as deep as influencing our thoughts and how we keep up these image. Because say if your rising sign is, say like Virgo rising, that's my rising sign. And you come off as someone who is pretty much detailed, organized, consistent, who appear to have your life together, even if you really don't have your life together, your rising sign is going to influence you to keep that going. But not just influence you, it is also a part of you. So yes, you keep up the image, you try to keep up the image of your rising, but that energy is also a part of you. It's like a piece of a puzzle that goes together with the other placements to make up the whole. So yeah, this rising energy is also embedded in you, but keeping up your image is what helps you to activate and to activate and to pretty much 
keep getting better at this energy, but it is also a big part of your personality and who you are. Libra rising. Having Libra as a rising sign, one, is that you might be someone who is very beautiful to the eye or someone who carries themselves in a way that others may consider to be very beautiful. You might also come off as someone who is super relatable, someone that just seems to be a big fan. Like you have a lot of fans. You have a lot of people who really like you, who really appreciate having you around and just consider you to be their friend. Even if you don't consider yourselves to be these people's friends, you have a lot of people who consider you to be a friend. Because in the process of being you being so relatable and likable, it's like people like you because you make them feel good because you don't make them feel alone in their situations. Even if you don't fully relate to them, even if you don't fully agree with them, you have the ability to come off this way. And I think this has everything to do with the fact that Libra represents the scales. And with that, you are able to see both sides of a situation. You are able to put yourself in both situations, whether you agree with it or not. And this is why Libras make great lawyers or people having to do with justice because that is the kind of energy that is necessary when dealing with people who are in trouble. It's like you have to walk into the situation balancing things out and you are good at that and because of that you are very likable. With Libra on the ascendant rising sign you have Venus as your chart ruler. So with Venus as your chart ruler this means that the Venus energy has a strong influence on everything that you do. Everything in your life, Venus plays a part. And Libra being the sign of relationships and being relatable. And like I said, people might see you as a friend even if you don't consider them as a friend because of the way you make them feel. So with Venus being your chart ruler, you value relationship and friendship when it comes to everything that you do, all aspects of your life. Re being relatable is going to be important to you others relating to what you're doing or you being able to relate to others. Social status might be very important to you. Beauty, luxury, the finer things in life will be very important to you depending on the other placements in your chart but focusing solely on the Libra rising energy those things will play a major part in your life because the Libra Libras again representing relationships and how we relate and looking at the scale it's like you're on this side of the scale right so you're trying to balance yourself constantly by the people that you associate yourself with the friends that you make the relationships that you get into the stat your social status the beautiful clothes that you wear the beautiful home that you live in just the way people see you and whatnot. And because this sign represents relationship and how we relate, there's a part of the Libra energy that don't feel like they have what it takes to balance themselves out. So they're always looking to add something to this side of the scale to balance them out. And those are the different friendships, relationships, career relationships, partnerships that you associate yourself with. So in the process of making these connections, you are going to come off as someone who is very likable, as someone who is very friendly, as someone who everybody just wants to be around. And again, this is because you make them feel good. The downside of having the Libra rising is that you may be misunderstood as being opportunistic in the sense that you might find that all the people who you call your best friends are people who can uh, uh, impact your life socially on some level. You know, people who have things going on for themselves. And I mean, I get it in the sense that 
if you love and value yourself, you should associate yourself with people who also have value, who also can con contribute to your life in some way or the next. The only issue that I find with this energy is that basically sometimes we can easily judge a book by the cover. Sometimes we might hold a certain image in our head on what success or strength looks like and totally look past the person only to find out later that just because this guy wasn't in Gucci or so or driving this car or doing or hanging with those people you know that didn't mean that this person didn't have anything to offer it's like the meme that I see with Bill Gates and Warren Buffett in a picture and I don't remember the exact words of the meme but it went something similar to billions of dollars in one picture and no Gucci or Louis belt or no Gucci or Louis to be seen in this picture and I'm not saying that Libra Risings are going around sizing people up da 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 whatnot that's not what I'm saying but I am saying because this energy is all about relationship relating and pretty much balancing yourselves out by associating with the right people you might come off that you know you might come off in a way where you might not be as friendly to the people who don't have anything to offer and i bring this up because this might not be you you might have evolved past this or you might have a virgo sun or other placements in your chart that makes you completely selfless and wanting to serve you know so this might not be you but if by any chance you find that there is a you know if, if by any chance that you find that there might be a little bit of truth to this then that's the point of this video because like i say self-awareness is a superpower the more that i am aware about certain things about my personality the more i am able to pretty much take control of my life by making changes and not still and not keep following certain ways or paths that i that don't fully represent who i aspire to be so yes having libra on the rising sign you guys are very beautiful people very nice to look at very nice to be around just overall you guys have this like whole romantic energy about you regardless even if you have like other stuff going on just at first sight you guys are aesthetically beautiful to look at and just it's like a piece of art that's what i think when i think of libra rising energy i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel and let me know your experience with your rising sign or just whatever it is that you might want to share with me in the comment box below because I really appreciate hearing from you guys and just the back and forth communication. I look so forward to seeing you in the next video.